Yo, how's it going, everyone? Saints fan here, and welcome back to another episode of Fashion Friday. And this week is actually pretty awesome because of the new clothes that were added with the Lowrider Custom Classic update. If you do want to submit an outfit for next week's episode, just leave it in the comment section, or you can tweet it at me. Get it into the first one, only because so many people tweeted it to me. The damn Daniel outfit. If your dream was to live out his life in GTA, well, guess what? Now, you can finally do it. And... Really simple to make, put on the white t-shirt, which by the way, isn't that new? I, I I thought we only had a white v-neck, but apparently now we have a white t-shirt, which is awesome. For the bottom, go with the faded classic blue regular fit jeans, and then for the shoes, the white slip-ons. You can also, if you want, put on a parachute with a red, or with the red straps. That's what I did. That, that one's up to you to decide which one you want. And then for the face, go with clean shaven and hair. That's up to you. Next off, it's actually pretty damn sweet from Famous, and it's the Street Biker. Now, there's two variations of this. You can either go with the white version or the black version. I'm going to show you guys the white version just because I think it looks a lot better, but basically everything that's white, switch it out for black stuff. To make that version, though, put on the white utility bomber jacket with the white V-neck or the regular white shirt or T-shirt on. For the bottom, black fitted jeans and then white canvas slip-ons. And then for the head, go with the matte biker helmet. And then for the accessories, the black driving gloves, the black combat parachutes, and I went with a chain. Now, those last three, those are optional if you want, but I think they add to this outfit and make it look even better. I really love these new jackets that they added, and this outfit is just so simple and so clean looking. That's why I had it included. Next up, we have... A sort of military-esque one from the Red Viking, but it's not really, it's, it's a mercenary one. And it does involve the use of one of those new jackets. To make this one, start with the Viper Utility Bomber Jacket, and then put on the standard body armor underneath it. For the bottom, go with black battle pants and then black tactical boots. And then for all the accessories, go with the black tactical gloves, the black parachute, black loose balaclava, and then optional, you can go with the black bulletproof helmet and the broker black wraparounds if you want some more stuff going on on the head i thought it looks pretty cool though it, it's something really different i really love like i said these new jackets that they added i think they're actually from single player which i would definitely like to see more single player clothing added to online because there's some really cool options in single player i don't know if you guys have ever gone back and checked next up it's another pretty damn awesome one from sonic speed and this one is the grove street gangster from gta san andreas and it pretty much looks identical you'll see to make this one really simple again, put on that white t-shirt with the green bold open check work shirt for the bottom tan work pants and then coffee canvas shoes. You also need to put dreads as the hairstyle and you can see in this picture, it basically looks identical. That's actually really cool. Another nice and simple outfit that is really well made and especially if you want to be associated with the Grove Street gang, then bam, there you go. Now these next outfits I only have pictures because they look better in the pictures than when I make them. But this first one from Bima, this one is the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It's obviously better for black characters and not white characters. If you put on a white character, it looks pretty bad. But in this picture, I think it looks pretty cool. To make it, put on the high top hair and then the mustache for the beard. For the track jacket, go with the bounce track jacket. And then for the shirt underneath it, the Patriot check shirt. And then for the bottom, yellow striped sweatpants and then navy boots. That is definitely something that you would have seen in the 90s. And with that haircut, definitely kind of looks like Will Smith from the show. Now here are some female outfits that we have. And these female outfits are pretty damn awesome as well. This first one from Zelda is the Bala Gang, babe. And it's kind of the opposite of the Grove Street Gangster that we just did. But as you can see for the top, go with the black loose tank with the purple striped open work shirt for the bottom purple acid skinny jeans with black sneaker wedges and then for the accessories the gold alloy chain with the assault hoops and the black fingerless gloves the next one's another one from sonic speed and it is ellie from the last of us i made joel a few months ago and now we can finally make ellie which to do so we'll start with the red bold check work shirt and then the black parachute as like a backpack that's kind of optional it's up to you for the bottom navy blue skinny jeans with black canvas shoes and then for the head, go with the ponytail, the hair color 48, and green eye contacts. It's not 100%, but it does look really similar. And if you know somebody with the Joel 
character outfit, then you might want to use this one as well. And you can sort of be a duo in GTA Online. And then last but not least, we have a division female character from Broclaw. To make this one, put on the tan leather fur jacket with the illusion off shoulder top, the green plaid woolen scarf, the black parachute bag, the black leather gloves, for the bottom charcoal combat pants, black scruffy boots, and then the shaved bangs for the head and the LCD earpiece and the rebreather. Again, it's not 100% from the picture of the Division character, but it definitely sort of has the Division vibe to it. Anyway, that is it with this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Again, if you want to submit an outfit, just let me know in the comments or on my Twitter. See you guys in the next one, though. And as always, it's your boy Saint Spin. I'm out. Peace.